Hey y'all. This bag just the cutest. You've seen it before. I thought it was be a cute little background for my stitch. Stitch row. And this sorry y'all. Oh wait. I cannot get this. What you gonna call it? Oh shoot, what's this thing called that's holding my uh phone camera? My 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 clamp. <laughs> it's, it's like not cooperating. Anyway, I got this lovely yarn from I don't remember who, but anyway, it's lovely. King Cole flash double knitting and it is a size three i believe doesn't matter but anyway i like it and i'm making a uh, and my <laughs> i went rogue y'all on my uh this is gonna be a blanket i'm sorry i keep hitting this and it goes boing 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 but anyway, so mine probably doesn't look anything like anybody else's. And this is really the, that was the wrong side, I guess. I'm not real sure. Yeah, this is the right side. And look at this. I like it. Kind of crazy. I couldn't, uh, y'all know, I'm sort of new with crochet because only because I don't venture out much. I just do same old, same old. So I did try out. I don't know if I did these right. This was Jane's crisscross, and I don't know if it crisscrossed exactly right, but I like it anyway. I didn't get rows three and four three and six so i just kind of did whatever and i think i kind of did whatever in some other spots too but y'all know what i'm gonna do y'all know my favorite mall stitch and lordy i hope y'all can see i am so close up on it and the way i'm having to look through the camera this is going to be, this is going to be a lot of fun here. I am, uh, I don't usually do like chain up or anything. Only because uh, I thought I heard Krista or somebody saying, if you don't do turning chains and just go for it, then you don't have wonky edges and that has really worked for me however this probably has wonky edges because on some i did turning chains and some i did okay so and i got clearance to do so i just poke it in the first stitch and you do a single crochet i'm trying to look underneath the camera and then chain one. Ooh. I really can do this, y'all. I just can't see what I'm doing. And you skip one, and then you go over to the next one. So, single crochet, chain one, skip one. Go in the next one. And I'm going under both. Both loops. Lordy, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. So I sure can't. I sure can't. And then you do another. It's just the same thing over and over again. Single crochet. Chain one. I think I squirreled a while ago. I got clearance from Jenny to do two rows. Because really the first row is a setup row where I'm skipping this. I'm going to come back on the second row that I do, and we're going to be working into that chain space. So just do this all along. I wish I could do the thing where you, you pause and come back and 
all that stuff, but chain, so a single crochet, chain one, skip one. I hope I'm on here. I wish I could have gotten this clamp to. Maybe this is, this is too busy of a background. I could just do it on here, I guess, on my shirt that is from my, did I chain one? Yes, I chained one. Skip one, go here, from my sissy. From my sissy Teresa Patton, who just had a new niece, grandniece, I think she said. Uh, this evening. And she is cute as she can be. And I think mother and child are doing just fine, which is great because Ooh, my sissy and her family have been through the meal lately. I sure hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I just single crocheted. Now I'm chaining one. And skipping one. Going underneath. And thank you to the lady that tagged me, and I should have checked, because I can't remember who it was. Somebody I don't think I'm acquainted with. Uh, chain one, skip one, go to the next one. This is going to take 50 years, y'all, because I may do this as a part one and part two. And I'm doing it all oh, so slow. <laughs> Not because I'm teaching it necessarily, but because I can't see. And y'all should see how my head's cocked and I'm all over the place trying to get this in here. And I hope, just hope y'all can see. Y'all probably, everybody probably knows how to do this. Skip one. Go under the next one, under the two loops. Do your single crochet. Chain one. So the reason I needed two rows again is because this is just your setup row, the skipping. So when I come back, I'm going to be working into those spots. So I told her if there's a Another round where we go back again since I'm doing two rows. I y'all can um, skip me or however. Okay, did I skip one? I guess I did skip one. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a little baby blanket for my little Junie May. And so I've done a million stitches here. And I hate for you guys to have to stick around for all this. <laughs> so I will come back and work row 11. No, this is row Eight. Boy, am I ever out in left field. Okay, that is row eight, and it's a setup row for the moss stitch. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Stay tuned for part two, which will be row nine.